Uh, what's up, y'all? So, these next few videos, I'm going to try to answer as many um, texts or DMs or emails or whatever from social media, however you've contacted me. I'm going to try to answer as many of you all's questions. Um, watching the videos you're sending me, observing the pictures, um, you know, I will try to get some responses back out to you. But to try to, like, kill two birds with one stone, I'm going to just do, uh, like, just the videos and talk about it. So, if I answered your question through a video, then no, I'm probably not going to, like, text you back. So, um, one thing that I had a lot of questions about this picture, um, well, first of all, let me say, I'm gonna go over some old stuff, some new stuff, some true stuff, some blue stuff, whatever. I don't care. Whatever y'all send me, I'm gonna do my best to talk about it and probably combine a lot of the similar topics in one video. So you just have to stay tuned. Now, like I was saying, this picture right here. Yeah, this picture is old. Uh, but it's crazy because I still, in this year, actually last month, um, the end of last month, had still got asked about this picture. So this picture is still bothering people. Um, thing about this picture is, this is like at a... Um, like a cosmetic surgeon facility or something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they do do body alterations there. What all this company do, I promise you, I did not really just look. Um, the first time I got this picture on, um, it was either Instagram or Twitter. Um, I went to it, and by that time, it was already taken down. Um, I just skimmed through some of the pictures, to see if that woman was in other pictures, you know, um, you do see her around and stuff. So I'm like, okay, it's really nothing you could do with that. Because the thing is, is when we first heard about this whole thing, I know I'm not the only one that heard about the whole witness protection thing. So if it's witness protection in play, then who's to say that there wasn't body alterations done, you know? So that person can live, you know, a normal life. Now, it is mad, mad, mad similarities there. You know, um, it's, it's crazy. It really is. But the butt is bigger, okay? People get butt implants. Um, the lips look a little more poofed. People get lip jobs. I mean, that is what the place is for to do body alterations so who's to say that it didn't happen because everything about this case have uh from the beginning it's really just been you know speculation even on rosemary in on chicago in on the family's in on the youtubers in on my end, you know, it's, it's never like nothing hardcore and concrete, you know, because every, every penny has two sides. So you can say tomato on this one. I'm going to say tomato. Uh, my personal opinion is, um, until this girl is like 100% truly identified, um, like she comes forth herself and say something or something like that. We can get it from a valid resource or something that this person is someone else and not, you know, an actor in this whole scene or not that person that they got body alterations that we was introduced to, you know, that person, you know, so until something is proven to me on exactly who this person is. I'm like, um, this would throw the witness protection thing in play. And it makes me go back to the lineup when they had the lineup picture. Now in that lineup, they used a very young picture of Kanika or, or the one we are introduced to. They used a very young picture. They didn't use like a 19 year old picture. So could she really have had 
you know, like witness something and been, you know, put up for a long time. I don't know. We never was able to prove that. Um, the incident at the store, you know, when I went and looked up that there, you know, um, I never did find anything like really just making me think, oh, well, that must have been Kanika. And I, I never seen anything from another YouTuber that, you know, caught something that I missed. And, and then I went back and, oh, okay, well, that must have been Kanika. I, I never got to that point where I felt that anything that was talked about in a report or statement or affidavit was like, oh, well, that must have been Kanika, you know. Um, yeah, every, you know, they pulled up the stepdad stuff, you know, you see where he snitched, you know, you, you, you see all that and you wonder like, well, you know, is this tied into it, you know, but you never really get a 100% concrete conclusion because once you think this is how this went. Then somebody else shows you something else and make you be like, oh, wow, I ain't see that. So now you're going down a whole nother rabbit hole, you know? So you can't really say because we really don't know as far as the the uh, party goers and, and the friends and the family, as far as their motive, we haven't really pinpointed that yet. As far as the hotel's motive, organ trafficking all day long. I, I've said that from day one. I'm not changing up on that. I've always told y'all it was one crime. I mean, one body and two crimes. You know what I'm saying? But, like, we, we established there's a whole lot of bodies and a whole lot of crimes, damn it, you know, that's going on in these days of the whole Kanika Jenkins thing that's in question. It's a whole lot of criminal activity that has been going on, you know, that we are aware of now. But I honestly can't say because this picture was like a one drop stop. It it dropped out, people got had enough chance to screenshot it, pass it around raise up more speculations, just something to keep the hype about this whole Kanika Jenkins case going. You know what I'm saying? Uh, could these be hints and clues? Sure. You know, could somebody from there have leaked that picture? Sure. And they lost their job because they did that? Sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You know, I'm quite sure you have to sign a waiver to be featured on any of their social media for promotional purposes. And maybe this person didn't sign their waiver. You know, I, I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. All we can do is just form our own opinion that we're comfortable with when it comes to this case. And I had to learn that the hard way. Okay? So, um, so yeah, as far as this picture... I'm just going to um, leave it to the comments, and we're going to take a vote. Do you think that this was Kanika that we were introduced to with body alterations, or do you think that this is just another lookalike that has been thrown into the mix? And, and, and have she been identified? If she's been identified, then, you know, somebody, you know, get down there and help a sister out. Because it's still raising speculation in this whole community. Um, I just, I just wasn't really worried about the picture. You know, I'm like, once again, here we're going to go down another rabbit hole. We're not going to find anything concrete and solid. So... I'm just leave that one up there for the birds, I guess. So I'm going to need y'all to get down in these comments and, um, Hey, let's, let's, let's talk about it. Hey, um, but yeah. Oh, and if y'all didn't catch my little mini, um, video, my little remake of that Whitney Houston and Deborah Cox, with uh money stacks and Shakira. So uh be sure to check that out. I'll probably put the link in the description. Um 
and you know probably come back and add a couple more things to the description uh but anyway you know thumbs this video up and let's get it popping down in the comments peace